Hello there guys, Coaster Child here, Dunksterborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we're going to be looking at a rumour from Six Flags America, and this is on the future of one of their water slides. Now, I remember, and it's still there now, I think, on YouTube, at the time of recording this, I remember the announcement back in 2011, well, in 2010 for the 2011 season, to introduce Zoomazon Falls to Six Flags America. Water slide, Hurricane Harbor, boom shakalaka, love it. Now there's a rumor that they could, it, could, it could be going. It could be going. We're gonna be sharing all of the details on this rumor. We're gonna share the official statement from Six Flags America's, uh, uh, Six Flags America uh, fans sort of rumor on their page. I've linked the post from them in the description down below. So go and check it out. Uh, shout out to them for the information. Also, guys, check the description down below for Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and the Discord links. And also, go and check out the Google Forms link where you can submit your video ideas and content suggestions. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,300 subscribers. Yes, that's right. We've hit 2,200 subs. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! So thank you very much guys, really do appreciate that. And for now, let's go on with talking about the rumour that Zoomazon Falls is out of here. So this came from Six Flags America fans on Instagram. Again, the post is linked in the description down below. And the post officially states, Fans, we've got a rumour that to share with you on this beautiful Thursday morning. Of course, on the Thursday. It was back then um, it's been a it's been a while since we, we since we've seen this <laughs> it looks like zoomers on falls been taken off the six flags america website and app we know that the six flags chain is looking to remove an attraction at most of their parks so could this be one of the ones that's getting the axe at six flags america while it would be sad if we do see this fun family slide complex go it's better than having a major attraction taken down I wouldn't speak too soon about that, uh, just in case. Now, what could replace this? There's a possibility that they just leave it standing but not operating for a while or just never replace it. But if they were to replace it, they have two options. Six Flags America could decide to put in that flat ride where the pool at the bottom sits as the portion face the dry park. Or they could just keep the new attraction as a water slide like maybe a water coaster or a mat racer. So many options, but we'll let you know more information as the story develops. And of course, you can follow Six Flags America underscore fans on Instagram. I really recommend you do that. It would mean a lot uh, to them if you go and follow them on Instagram and keep up to date with their updates indeed. And it definitely sounds like Six Flags America could definitely replace, in my opinion, Zoomers on Falls. Now, whether that's for a water park edition or a dry park edition, it should be very, very interesting to see. And of course, in terms of flat ride options, Options. Well, I'm going to go through those options right about now and show you exactly what I think could be coming to Six Flags America. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is looking at uh, the uh, the rumor that Zoomers on Falls is out of the door. It's getting the axe. You've been eliminated. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. You've been eliminated for the X Factor. Let's look at your time. Well, there's not enough time to look back on their time on the X Factor. Um, but Zoomers on Falls looks like it's on its way out of Six Flags America. First of all, what do you guys think? Comment down below. I would love to hear your opinions. Um, but what are my thoughts on this? Well, I'm looking at the replacement options that Six Flags America underscore fans on Instagram, that's a shout out to you, um, we're, we're suggesting in, 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 that, in that post. And, you know, water coaster, mat racer, flat ride where the, where the pool area sits. I wouldn't mind either of them. Now, in terms of water coaster, we're looking at a tsunami surge, like uh, over t uh, Six Flags uh, Fiesta Texas in their water park. Or the Python's Plunge, of course, they're, they're scheduled to introduce in 2020, of course, now this year. Um, that could be one option. The Mat Racer wouldn't be a bad option either. I think that's a good family, fun for all ages, uh, water slide complex. The Wahoo Racer, um, or the Big Wave Racer, as it was, you know, when it got introduced to a water park back in 2013 for Six Flags. So they could go with either of those two. They, they could go with either of those two complexes. If it's going to be a flat ride where the pool area is, because it is facing the dry park, I would like to see, and this is a great family attraction, and I'd like, and I've been waiting to see this at the park now for a few, for a couple of years now. A Zampella Endeavour, 
I'd love to see as Ampella Endeavor something with that Spin Sanity theme or a Hurricane Force 5. I've always wanted to see the Hurricane Force 5 name being used again. It might just be me, but I love that name. So I'd like to see Hurricane Force 5 being used again in the, in the form of an Endeavor flat ride at Six Flags America. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Uh, either a Zampella Endeavour or, or some kind of compact flat ride that's not going to take up a lot of space. Look at Laurent's sort of um, flat ride packages. Um, or I think it was Overtext that did like a flat ride package. Either one of the two. I think they did it at separate times. But one of them had like this, I guess, inverted magic carpet type ride, I guess. Like a bus magic carpet style ride called Gravitor. That would be nice. That'd be a nice compact family attraction to put in that spot. Um, maybe they could go with the classic Troika or the classic uh, sort of Whirlybird style ride. And again, with the Spin Sanity theme and things like that. Um, obviously, they've already got rides like the Flying Scoots and the Super Loop, so you won't go with any of them. Um, maybe they go with something else. Maybe they go with like uh, the, those fun time boosters known as the Vomitrons. So something like an Adirondack Outlaw or a Catwoman's Whip at Six Flags St. Louis uh, for 2022. Something like that. Because if you do want it at St. Louis and America, you've got two Vomitrons. I guess fun time boosters coming to the, park in 2020, coming to the parks in 2022. So it would be interesting to see what would go in that spot. But my pick would be a Zampella Endeavor or a Tsunami Surge or a uh, Wahoo Racer, Matt Racer style compl complex. Um, so there's three options there. Comment down below what you would put in that spot. And uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Zoomers on-tastic day. RIP Zoomers on Falls. You've excited us for years.